good strategy. Okay. So in that position, I want you to find, just because she does tend to be a bit that way, I want you to see if you can find um, lumbar spine neutral. Now I would actually tell my patients how to do that, and we get her to go through full range, and then gradually, and then I keep going, right down, right down, right down, and then come all the way up to the tail underneath, and now go three quarters of the way down, Come up three quarters, and I go down half, down, 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 and come back up half, and I go back to down to where you think is neutral. And she's still a bit flat. I would actually want her slightly lower down. So what that tells me is her ability to find neutral is maybe not ideal. Well, we're not focusing down there for today, so we won't get too excited about that. But then, without giving her any more instructions, what I want you to be able to do, so while we're talking, I'm watching what's happening with these scapula. Are they staying flat on the chest wall? Are they starting to wing or drift? Or is she starting to really overuse those upper traps and drop that, that chin forward? Just what's happening while we're looking at it. What is her endurance like in that protracted position? And how much is she locking these elbows? She's very good at doing it. Okay, <coughs> you want your cubital fossas facing together and you don't want her locked in hyperextension. Okay, so now without giving her any instructions particularly, can you drop your um, chest down between your shoulder blades, bring these shoulder blades together all the way down as far as you can. And I'm going to see what sort of posture she goes into and now can you push them all the way up the other way. Okay, she's doing that quite nicely. What a lot of your patients will do is when you ask her to go into protraction, She'll go into a lot of spinal, or we're going into retraction, she'll go into spinal extension. When she comes up into protraction, she'll hump up like a camel. No idea about just doing protraction, retraction without doing that. So that just tells me something for a start about if you ask her to do stuff moving her arm forwards, she's likely to get a lot of spinal movement, which may mean that she ends up with a cervical thoracic problem, may mean she ends up with a thoracic, or some sort of shoulder issue. It's not relevant just to shoulders. Okay, so we've seen that she's not that good at doing that, or we'll assume that she's not. So then I might need to go through a series of steps to try and help her find that, help, uh, that neutral. So let's just drop down again and try and keep your spine still and just pinch these shoulder blades together and drop down on my finger. There you go. So she's doing that quite nicely. The patients won't be that good. Okay, and now try and push up between your shoulder blades without coming up here. Drop that down and just push up through here. And that can take quite a lot of teaching. And it may be that your finger on the sternum, maybe that your fingers up here are what gives them the clue. Some people you actually need to give them some resistance so she can push up into my hand, it gives us something to work against. So there are a whole lot of things you need to think about to see well, just how good is she at doing that? And how well can she dissociate her, her uh, thoracic spine from the scapula? Just give your hands a rest. So, that's not too bad.